So here we have the all new 2024 Chevy Traverse. This one comes in the Z71 trim with all wheel drive. Mosaic black metallic is the paint. And then we do have the jet black Evo text with torch red accented interior. And for the powertrain, we get that new 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder made it to an eight speed automatic transmission. Excuse my voice, I'm just getting over a cold. So as we come around to the front end here, we do get our LED headlamps, LED daytime running lights. And I love, love the new styling for the Traverse. It just looks so aggressive, especially in the Z71 trim. Just looks mean. 18 inch aluminum wheels here. And I love that we have the Goodyear Wrangler tires here. And that does just make it look a bit more aggressive as well. Passive keyless entry on all four doors. We do get our power windows, power mirrors, power door locks, power lift gate, Bose sound system. And then here we can go through our drive modes, all wheel drive, auto stop toggle, electronic parking brake, hood latch there. And then here we have our power driver seat and it looks like we get four-way power lumbar support, which is nice. But I love the design of the seats here. Now, with that being said, I have the seat up front adjusted for someone of my size being 6'3 with longer legs. But before we check that out, big shout out to Chevrolet Buick GMC of Murfreesboro for allowing me to review this Traverse today. But this sticker's for a 54050, which isn't a bad price in my opinion. Now, with this four-cylinder, you get a 19 miles per gallon city, 24 highway, EPA estimated. But legroom back here is pretty good. Even with the optional sunroof here, my headroom is pretty good as well. And then we have our rear AC controls, three prong plug in, two USB C charge ports. And there's a view of the front from back here. And there's that roof there and the third row right in there. So you can see not too much legroom behind the second row, but. fuel filler there and I really like how they kind of took the design from the Blazer EV that's kind of the vibe this thing gives me LED tail lamps there love the exhaust very aggressive look underneath there now I'm going to try and test this out one of the newest features is the auto sense so if we stand right here after about three or four seconds the lift gate's supposed to pop open but I've already done it of course, it's not wanting to do it now, but it's pretty easy to do. You just kind of come back from around. Let me see if I cut the, well, it's probably because I have the hood open actually. So let me show you the engine bay and then we're gonna try and do that. So to the front end here, there's that 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder that's mostly covered up. Let's see if it'll do it now. All right, there it goes. So just with the lift gate, or I guess the vehicle itself, sensing that I was right behind the lift gate, it opened by itself as I came around the back, which is pretty neat. And then here we can fold this down when the seat's up far enough. That second row, we can fold the third row down. You do get a USB-C charge port on either side and then two bottle holders on either side as well. The top tethers for the third row are there. And then for the second row, you can see those right there. So again, I think that sensor, the they call it something, I'm having a brain fart. I guess the auto sense, I think is what it's called. The auto sense lift gate is a pretty neat feature to have, especially on a vehicle that's this price. But that's how you can fold that seat flat and then you can pull up here. And that's how you can get to the third row relatively easily. And then our front passenger seat here is manual. I love the trim though for the Z71, just having that throughout 
it's subtle well, i should say it's not doing much but it does make the the dash pop quite a bit and then our glove compartment's there storage pocket down here And again, I just love the design here. And I think for 55 grand, of course, everything is expensive these days. That's a lot of money, but for what you get here, compared to the rest of the segment, it's not a bad bargain at all. Especially with this driver assistance package, which I'll show you here in a minute. I don't think that's what it's called. It's called something else, but it gives you super cruise, which this does have. There's the horn. We get the newer screen here that we've seen in the Blazer EVs. So I really like the setup here. Everything's pretty much touch screen, but you do have buttons and knobs, for instance, for your dual zone automatic climate controls. And then we do get three stage heated front seats as well. And then I like that everything is pretty easy to do from the screen itself, including the AC controls. So I don't have to go into the actual AC or climate controls here and kind of have to find everything. It's right here for what I need. And same thing here with the lane keep assist, headlamps, and then your controls here where you can turn on the park assist, the downhill brake control, the auto park there, the auto high beams, even the camera, just very easy to pull up. So that's the front camera there. And then we have the backup camera there with the guidelines. So again, just Makes a lot of sense, I think. Very easy to use. Now we do get Google Maps here, but we also have wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto compatibility. So if you wanna use that there, instead of paying for that subscription, you can. And then for our audio on top of that, we get the AM, FM, XM, and then Bluetooth. But we also get Alexa, Google Podcasts, Google News too. And I like that power button's up here. Volume knob is there. Just really good graphics on the screen itself. Wireless charging pad down there, USB-C, USB-A input, 12 volt bottle holders here. I like the, the piano black throughout here. Have a little storage tray there. And then center console cubby space with a removable tray, which has pretty good space in it as well. Now up here, we do have our rear camera mirror hazards are there sunglasses holder here and then all of our sunroof controls are here we can tilt or slide this roof and then we do have that power sunshade too <clears throat> now what's really neat is this sunroof is very very quiet i'm actually quite impressed by that it's almost as good as the cadillacs you can double tap to get all the way back but very impressed there and there's a view of the back seat from up here And there's the sunshade. So you can't do those simultaneously, but I like the rear vanity or the driver vanity mirror here. Like the lights there, excuse me. Now behind the steering wheel, we do have our wipers. So intermittent low, high, rear wipers here. And then you can just pull either way there for the rear wiper fluid and then push on the side here for the front wiper fluid, blinkers. And then we can toggle the high beams there. Now, interestingly enough, we do have the shifter here. Again, it's just really giving me Blazer EV vibes because this is exactly how this car is set up. So pull there for neutral, pull down for drive, pull up for reverse, press P for park. Paddle shifters are behind the steering wheel, so that should be fun. And then left side, we can toggle track list radio station presets underneath the paddle shifters. And then on the right side, volume up or down there. Now we do have Super Cruise here, so you can turn the cruise control on there and then enable the Super Cruise there when available. And then we do have, now this is interesting, we have a limiter here on the steering wheel. So very strange, but interesting. And then gap adjust for the forward collision alert or the adaptive cruise is there, set the speed there. Heated steering wheel toggle is here audio we can do that and then use this as kind of like a, a dial when applicable here to kind of scroll and then we have our bluetooth controls here voice recognition and then we can use this to change and get out of here our views here in the gauge cluster push button start and then those keys are still in my pocket 
but here's what the front and the back of the key fob look like and we do get remote start there but now for the fun part let's go ahead and test out this new powertrain and take this 2024 chevy traverse z71 out on the road for a test drive so starting the test drive in this traverse here i will say it has a very strong four cylinder here with a turbocharger And I like with the steering wheel, and I don't know if this just has to do with having the Super Cruise package or whatever, but the padding is very thick, very comfortable. But we're gonna test out the driving dynamics and the Super Cruise as we get on the interstate here momentarily. But I'm actually liking the comfort here. Even though this isn't actual leather, we have that Evotex, it still feels very comfortable. Having the adjustable seat is nice. And then just also having that four-way power lumbar support is nice as well. We're gonna slow it down here and just give it a little pull. Now that was just merging on the interstate. I wasn't flooring it by any means, but it was very impressive how this car got up to speed. Let me see if I can test out the Super Cruise here. So there's the Super Cruise there. It's doing all the work, the lane centering, the keeping the safe distance between myself and the vehicle in front of me. Now this will try an auto lane change if you don't turn it off. And just where I'm only going down an exit, I have to kind of stop it from what it's doing. But just a, a great software there. It's always been, as le at least as many times as I've, as I've used it, it's been very, very impressive. And it just, it amazes me with the sticker price of this vehicle being under $55,000, just what you get here. You don't get cooled seats, but other than that, it has everything that I would want in a vehicle for road trips. You have three-stage heated seats. You have your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto wirelessly. The sunroof is a nice touch. The powertrain is actually, I mean, this four-cylinder gets up. It pulls, it really does. But then, of course, just having the Super Cruise, that's a big plus. And, I mean, your ride quality is very, very solid. Driving dynamics are pretty good. No complaints so far. Now, again, I think for the price point, this is a pretty good good deal here. <clears throat> now, you do get a lifetime powertrain warranty at my partner dealer, Chevrolet Buick GMC of Murfreesboro. So if you're worried about the 2.5 Turbo 4, you're covered there for however long you own the vehicle. The eight-speed automatic has a pretty good track record with GM. As opposed to the 10-speed. Now, the 10-speed is a very nice transmission. I do like how that operates, especially in the Cadillac CT5, the Escalade, Tahoe, things of that nature. But for this engine, I think the 8-speed is uh, the perfect transmission to pair here. You're still able to get 24 miles per gallon highway, but you're not having to worry about all of those shift points. <clears throat> and all in all, I just really... I saw this vehicle at the New York Auto Show up close, I guess last month or month before, and now actually seeing it in person, driving it, it is as impressive as it was then. Really more so, because this one does have the Super Cruise, actually being able to drive this and realize that you have that. If you do want to take this from the Nashville area here, it's a 12 hour trip to Miami, nine, 10 hour trip to Orlando without stops, if you want to go to Disney World, it'll just make that trip that much easier having the Super Cruise here. And it's just, the looks for me are what are most impressive. When I first saw this, I guess end of last year, beginning of this year, just the, the picture I saw online, the videos, I was, 
I knew that the Traverse looked good, but I was skeptical about how it actually looked in person. And just seeing it here, the pictures don't even do it justice. It's just a very aggressive, yet beautiful piece of art here. That's just the best way to describe it. Just, I love the LED headlamps, LED tail lights. It took a lot again from the Blazer EV's design. And I just think they knocked it out of the park with this, especially for the price point. And with all that being said, this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2024 Chevy Traverse Z71.